Hey guys, I'm going to show you how we clean and maintain our clutch from our 206 motor. Specifically, this is the Stinger, but it applies to also the Hilliard. Actually, the Hilliard is just a little simpler. The tools you're going to need uh, are an impact with a half inch, snap ring pliers, uh, for cleaning purposes, a flathead screwdriver, and sometimes you need a hammer, magnetic tray, uh, 220 grit sandpaper, WD-40, brake clean, some conventional oil, and some rags. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll take this off. Grab your snap ring pliers, and you're going to take off this snap ring right here. And you're going to want to take care to like put your thumb kind of on it just so it doesn't go shooting off. And then you know, sometimes it takes two tries. Grab it. Okay. Your key so you don't lose it. All right, then pull this apart. Okay, so once you pull this off, you're going to grab your snap ring pliers again take it to the sprocket side and kind of make sure you keep your thumb on there so the snap ring doesn't go shooting off. Snap ring there. There's a little washer. Don't lose that. Now this inner piece will come out. And here are is a washer and one bearing and the second bearing is right here so I'm gonna pull those out that way it's not gonna get brake clean on it set them away from my brake clean and you're just gonna clean up all the grease these clutches are almost like a magnet for grease This one's already fairly clean, so a lot, you'll oftentimes get more grease than that. Uh, but get as much of the grease out as you can. Uh, if you need to hit it with a second round of brake clean, do so. Next up, we're going to do the same thing to the shoes. Just kind of hit them with some brake clean. Uh, one thing I like to do when I have this disassembled on the stinger is I like to check this inner snap ring here. Um, sometimes they, they have a tendency to pop up and that can cause issues. Uh, this one's good. You just want to make sure it's in the notch in there and, and it is. So ready to move on. Next you're going to sand the contact patches. Uh, you can see it here in the bell, this dark area. Um, so you just sand it with 220 grit sandpaper. You're not going to be able to take off that dark patch. You're just going to get off whatever you can. And if a lot of times when you go over it before you clean it, you can kind of feel it gripping the glove or your finger. So you're just going to try to take as much of that off as you can. Okay, so now the bell's been sanded. Um, I can tell a difference here. I'm going to move over and sand the shoes. And you're just going to try to take off this as much of this sheen as you can. You're just going to try to get it looking as close to new as you can. And by hand, you're only going to be able to do so much, but just take as much off as you can. Okay, that's pretty good. And then these channels have a tendency to kind of get gunked up. 
what I do is I take the flathead screwdriver and I'll try to clean them up. So this one actually cleaned up without the hammer. Sometimes you have to get a little, little tap with the hammer. Okay. The rest of these channels are pretty good. Okay, once you sand it, you're going to put WD-40 in here and just a little bit will go a long way. So about, about that much there. Kind of walk it around a little bit. Take a clean rag. And you're just going to try to put that thin film of WD-40. You don't want a lot of WD-40 in there. Okay, so once that's all sanded and WD-40, you're going to lubricate your bearings. Grab a little conventional oil, uh, 10W30 in this case. I don't know that that matters. And just get a little bit on your finger. And get it on the needle bearing here. Kind of come back through and blot some of it off if I think I have too much, because you don't want a ton of oil. You just want it to stay lubricated. Put that back. Next, I still have enough on my finger to hit this one. Same thing here. You don't want a you don't want a lot of oil in your clutch. Just enough to keep those bearings lubricated. Now we're ready to reassemble it. So you're going to put the washer back here. Hold down these bearings while you push the shaft up through. Okay. Fiber washer. There's two snap rings to the stinger clutch. Uh, the smaller one, this one right here, is used for the sprocket side. So just make sure you're putting the correct snap ring on the correct side. Okay, so now you put your snap ring pliers in the snap ring. Keep one finger on the snap ring so it doesn't go shooting off. Kind of apply downward pressure. Make sure it's in the channel all the way around kind of take my finger and push down it is okay now you're ready to put the shoes back in there's two channels here one in the shaft and one in this piece uh, try to line them up your best you can put them back on and then put your finger through this side and hold it steady and then you're going to be able to spin and rotate this portion of the clutch. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to get those channels lined up so they'll allow you to put the key in like that. Push the key all the way down. Now you'll put on the second snap ring, keeping a finger on it so it doesn't go shooting off. Make sure it's in the channel there all the way around. Make sure it spins freely. It does. And that's all there is to cleaning and maintaining your clutch from a 206. Specifically the Stinger, but the Hilliard is virtually the same. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.